and good evening everybody uh, as usual please let me know if the audio is okay um the chat is working again which is excellent my name is paul grogan tonight we're going to be doing a solo playthrough of red cathedral or the red cathedral to give it its proper name um i got this game at the end of last year i did a multiplayer playthrough on the channel uh, if you want to see a three-player game of it that's on the channel now tonight we're going to be doing a solo playthrough uh, I have read through the rules again in the last hour, and I've learned the solo game. People are in the chat who have played it before, which is excellent. So they're basically going to help me out if I get stuck. Um, I've done the setup. So what we've done is we've picked one of these cards here. This has determined how many towers. That, uh, well, I think there's always four towers. There's always 12 pieces because we're setting up for a two-player game. Even though it's a solo game, you set it up for a two-player game. So we've got this card here. We've done that. We've put the random workshop tiles on them. We've got four of these cards, and I'm not using the suggested ones for your first game because I've played it once. Um, so I've picked four at random. I say four at random. There are four different categories, and in each category there are three or four cards, and you pick a random one from each category. It's not just four random cards. Um, these have been assigned at random, uh, and then you basically roll the dice and assign the dice. The first one goes here where there's the, the cross, uh, and then you put one in each space going clockwise from there. Right. Solo game. There are five solo cards. They were shuffled and they were laid out in a line here like this. Uh, the other player, who is Ivan. Ivan does not get another board. Um, but they do get these decoration tokens. You also use these tiles. So these are the workshop tiles which are only used in a three and four player game. But what you do is you take the five of them that have dice on it and you assign them uh, like that. Okay, and they're, they're going to be used during the game. Ivan starts with five of his banners on this particular card here. Not the middle one, but the one that allows him to claim a piece of the cathedral. And then one banner on the lowest bit of the cathedral, which has the highest uh, recognition value. This one has eight, this one has eight. Therefore, it goes for the one on the left-hand side. I'm the first player. I've got three coins, I think. That is the setup done. Uh, so we're ready to start. So it's going to be more of a playthrough, but I am going to do a tiny little bit of a tutorial just as a reminder for myself. On your turn, you can do one of three actions. The actions are printed on your player board. And thanks to the new Streamlabs configuration that I've uh, spent yesterday doing, we should have four presets. Here we go. This is my player board. Uh, so you can see here we have A, B, and C. We have three possible actions that you can do. The first one is to claim a piece of the cathedral. Uh, so I can do that if I wanted to. The second one is to deliver goods uh, to a piece of the cathedral that I have already claimed. So I'm not going to be doing that on uh, the first turn for two reasons. One, I don't have any goods. Two, I haven't claimed a piece of the cathedral. And then the third option is basically moving the dice around the board, uh, getting resources, activating a workshop tile, etc, etc. So on the first turn of the game, A and C are my options. I can't really do option B. Let's go back to the uh, to the main view. Um, and I'm not sure. Um, I need to look at the board because getting resources is quite good. But also, I kind of want to claim... I think I'm going to claim something. So when you claim a piece of the cathedral, and again, I've got another preset set up for this. Uh, when you claim a piece of the cathedral, you can either claim uh, any of the floors which is on the bottom level, or you can go to the one above somebody else. One of the reasons you might want to do that is if you end up completing a floor above somebody else, a piece that they've claimed and they haven't completed, they're going to get penalized. They're going to get chastised by the czar. Um, so I could do that. I could claim this one here and then I could try and complete it before Ivan. And based on the fact that this one is easy, I might do that. Is this another brain burner, says Paul? It's actually not. This is a relatively... Uh, relatively, I, I would have said light to medium game, maybe bordering on medium, but it's definitely not that much of a brain burner, I don't think. Uh, Mark is saying, but then he'll get the eight points. Will he get the eight points? From the tower top. Oh, okay, you're thinking one step ahead. Yeah, you're right, you're right. He might do that. Um, this is going to be a learning game for me. I've not played the solo game before. Um, so Mark is suggesting that I better start with the dice workshop, this one here. Okay, if, that, if that's what you're saying, let's, let's do that then. <laughs> so when you, so I'm choosing option A, and basically I can place one of my banners. Uh, you can see here I've got four banners here and two banners here. Now you want to place these four first because this is your inventory. You only have 10 spaces to store things. 
So I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to put it on here. And then by claiming it, you get the workshop tile. Now the workshop tile, you have two choices with it. You can either put it face down on one of these workshop areas here. That doesn't cost you any money, uh, but then you don't really get any bonus out of it. Or if you pay the money, you can place it face up on the space. Uh, and then you will then get to use this bonus immediately. And you will also get to use this bonus whenever you, you move the die according to the color. So I have three money and I am the blue player. So I'm going to pay three money and I'm going to put it on there. So one, two, three. There's my money. That is gone. Let me zoom out to here. Um, and I get to use that ability straight away. Now, as I say, I've not played the game for a while. So I'm just going to remind myself of what that ability is. Uh, when you activate a workshop that shows a die, you gain the resources shown on the resource tile next to the die. Right, okay, so yeah, I thought so. So we look on the main board here, and again, I've got another preset. I'm just showing off my preset because I've spent all afternoon sorting it out. Uh, oh, start at two points. Score points start at two, do they? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I've seen that. Thank you very much, I missed that. Um, so we, we look where the red dice is, and I get two rocks. So two pieces of stone go on my player board here. And again, they go in this space here. So there we go. That is it. That was option A. I've claimed it. I've taken the workshop tile. I've paid the money. That goes on there. And because I paid for it, I immediately got the benefit of it. Right. Okay. So that's my go done. Now we do Ivan's turn. So Ivan has these five cards here. Because at the start of the game, all of these workshop tiles are face up, Ivan is going to use this one. He's going to do this ability here. I'm just going to check this. Look at the row of solitaire cards and find the one furthest to the left that has a face-up workshop tile on it. Move the die shown on the workshop tile as if Ivan was performing the acquire resources from the market basic action. So move it as if he was doing that. So the green dice is on four. So we have to move it four spaces. One, two, three, four. Um, and then flip the workshop tile down. Um, Ivan will not actually get the resources for that, but will still obtain a recognition point if it was this space, which it's not. Um, or if he lands on a spot, or he can do this. Right, I don't think that gets a recognition either. And then after the die moves, perform the action indicated on the solitaire card. So if we look at Ivan's five cards here, um, you've basically got the different, the five different actions that uh, Ivan is going to do. And this action is very simple. It's gain four recognition points. So that's what Ivan does. Ivan is red. One, two, three, four. Uh, and that's it. Now, I'm just going to ask in the chat because it says, um, where is it? Ivan will not gain any resources from this action. So moving the die. Uh, either because, uh, but he will still obtain a recognition point either because he lands on a market space that grants it, which I think is this, or because the influence card gives him a recognition point, which would be there. Okay, so I think that he would get a recognition point if he landed here or in this quadrant, but not any of the other ones. I think that's right. Oh, and re-roll the dice. Yeah, every time a die moves, you re-roll it. It's a four. I don't have my dice rolling tray here. Uh, no, never mind. Right, okay, so I think that's it. We flipped it face down. That is Ivan's turn. Exactly, says Mark. Okay, so we're good. We are good to go. Uh, Kabuki Kiddies here. Thank you for joining in. My go. So we've claimed this. We can't start delivering yet because we've only got two stone. Um, so we're probably going to get some more resources. And if I move the blue dice, so every time I move the blue die, I also get the ability of the red die. So I think let's just do that. Let, let's, just, let's just move the blue die. So four. So we're going to one, two, three, four. It lands in this area here, which is good because two dice in there mean I'm going to get more stuff. You can pay to move it further. If it's your own dice or the white dice, I don't have any money, but I wouldn't want to anyway. So when you move a dice to collect resources, there are three things that you do. And you can do these in any order, but you can only do each one of them once. The first one is I get the resources that's indicated here multiplied by the number of dice. So gold multiplied by two dice. So I get two gold. There you go. Uh, then I can use the workshop tile if I have a workshop tile, which I do which is red to get two stone. Now, it must be said, you do not have to take all of these resources. Because your resources are limited, you don't have to take them all because you can't throw them away. But I'm greedy, so I'm going to take everything for now, even though 
I don't need any of this stuff for this. I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, honestly. Um, and then we can do this. So because we're in this quadrant, we can use this card. Now let's just zoom in and have a look at this card. Uh, this basically has two different abilities. I can either spend any two resources and convert them to any one resource. Well, that seems good. Or I can activate one of my workshop tiles, which I don't want to do because that will get me another two stone. So I'm going to choose to do the top bit. And again, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Two resources the same for any one other resource. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two stone that I've just got. And I'm actually going to take one of the nicest components in any game ever. I'm going to zoom in just to show you. It's one of these nice little purple gems. There's purple gems and there's green gems. And yes, good job on the, uh, on the uh, producer, Pro producer, publisher for producing really, really nice uh, components for this game. Really top quality game in terms of components. Right now, when are the dice moves, I need to re-roll them. People are saying convert. Yes, I did. So I'm going to re-roll these two dice. I remembered before anybody told me, <laughs> but I am probably going to get forget 50% of the time. That's it. Did that, did that, did that, did that. Right, Ivan's go. So Ivan is now on Ivan's second card, which is this one. Uh, so we move the red die. So it's moving one. So it moves there and we're going to re-roll it. It's a two. Uh, there's no recognition point there, so he doesn't get anything. And then we carry out this action here where Ivan basically gets four resources. Now it doesn't matter what resources Ivan gets, you just basically pick any four random resources from the pile. It, it doesn't matter. You'll see why later on. Um, right. So that's that's that done. Uh, oh, and we flip that down. Yeah. If you can hear, by the way, I've got a noise suppression setting on this microphone. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the rain outside. I've got the window slightly open for a bit of fresh air. And it's really raining quite hard here. It sounds really nice. You can't probably hear it on camera. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Anyway, my go. So now I've got all of this stone. I probably want to claim something that is actually going to use this stone. Um, and I don't have any money. Money's really tight in this game. How do you get money? Now, there is something you can do. You can lose a prestige. To gain two money. Now, if I lose prestige at this point, what do I do? Do I go down to zero? Yes, I do. Um, yeah. Can't hear the rain, but you can hear it here. Okay. <laughs> You've got your own rain, Andy. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Can I, can I spend one prestige to go down to here and lose two money? I think I can. And I think I might do that. Just waiting for the chat to tell me whether I can do that or not, because I think I can. I think you can. I'm just going to check in the rule book while waiting for the chat to tell me. Uh, lose prestige in exchange for one rubles. Move your score marker back to the previous prestige point. So Mark is saying yes. Can I hear the sunshine from Carl? <laughs> it's just that there isn't a prestige point symbol on the zero. The, the prestige point symbol is there. So I don't know whether I can or not. Can the publisher answer the question? I know, I know Mark is saying yes. And Chris is saying yes. So everybody's saying yes, but there isn't a prestige point marker there. So that's why I was thinking you couldn't. So I might do that. I might move my prestige point, point marker back to zero and get two coins. Yeah, we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna lose one prestige to get two coins. I'm then going to claim. I see Llama Dice is saying you cannot. There you go. People have been playing it wrong. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't think you could because there wasn't a prestige icon there. So I can't do that. I can still take one of these tiles. I just don't get the benefit of it. The other option is that we could go for money. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That would get me four brick. I would lose some of it. Yeah, you have to have at least one privilege point or prestige point. Yes. Yeah. And that, that is reflected by the icons on the board. There isn't a prestige icon in the corner. That's why I was thinking you couldn't. And we were right. You can't. 
Oh, straight away. Tricky decisions. I think I'm going to claim something. Yeah, I think I'm going to claim something, and I'm going to claim this one. So I'm claiming this one. I'm taking this, but because I don't have the money, this is going face down. Now, what that means is I don't get the bonus printed on it, and also it means I'm effectively locking out that dice. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could have moved there and converted. One, two, three. Oh, that would have been good. Okay, maybe we won't do this then. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I just spotted that. Maybe I'll move the yellow dice. Because green goes one, two, three, four and gets me four brick. I don't need that. Yeah, okay. Change of plan. I'm going to move the yellow dice instead. I'm going to move it one, two, three. Okay. So I didn't claim, so that goes back there. So I actually get three gold. Okay, now I don't need three gold. So before I, and I, I don't have space for three gold. So before I get the three gold, I'm going to use this conversion here. I'm going to convert two of my existing gold into a, ooh, I don't know what we're going to convert it into. Um, oh, uh, we're going to convert it into a wood. Okay, so I'm going to convert, I've converted two of my existing gold into a wood. So I did the conversion first. Uh, then I'm going to activate the getting the gold, so that gets me three gold, one two, three, <clears throat> and the yellow dice, I don't have the yellow dice with a thing, so there we go. Um, right, okay, we're good, we need to re-roll these. I'm, I'm full on resources, so I need to spend some stuff. We have a three, four, and a six. Right, it is now Ivan's turn, so Ivan is doing the third action here. The first thing we do is we move the we move the white dice. The white dice moves four. One, two, three, four. Gets a recognition. And then we re-roll this. Three. Okay. Uh, and then Ivan is doing this action, which is basically to claim. So here's how, the, here's how Ivan claims parts of the cathedral. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Right. If he still has any banners, which he does, put one on uh, a card directly above a section claimed or built by you. So that's what he does. He deliberately goes for one above where I am. So uh, I'm here. I've claimed this one, which means he claims this one. He removes this from the game. He doesn't get any benefit from it. Um, oh, no. He would get a benefit from it if it had a recognition on, but it doesn't. So it just gets removed from the game. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, if there wasn't a card, if there wasn't a section claimed or built by me, it would go on a base. Otherwise, it doesn't do any. Right, so there you go. That's that. Um, takes yellow dye workshop. Yes, there you go. Right. Uh, oh, we need to flip that face down. Um, we're done. Right, my go. So, um, what am I going to do now? I think I need to be delivering because I'm full with resources. I don't have any money. So, yeah, we're going to deliver. Now, you can deliver up to three things, and I think I'm only going to be able to deliver two. Maybe I, do, maybe I get money. Because there's these. Oh, this is money. Now then. Wait a minute. This is this is money. Mm, lovely money. Okay. Okay, we're going to go with this. We're going to move the blue die. We're going to move it three. One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to re-roll these in a minute. But then because I'm in this quadrant, the first thing I'm going to do is this. Now, if you have a look at this card, unlike the other one, which was blue with a lightning bolt, this is red with an infinity symbol. That means I can do that as many times as I want. So I am going to spend all of my gold, 
all of it. Yeah, I'm going to ditch all of my gold. So three gold uh, is being converted for six money. There you go. Ka-ching. All right, so that's that. And you can only do either the top bit or the bottom bit. But because I've chosen the bottom bit, I can do it as many times as I want. Uh, and in fact... Oh, do I sell the, the purple thing as well? Because I'm about to get two more of them. Yeah, I'm going to sell the purple gem as well. I'm going to sell the purple gem for another, another two money. And then I'm going to activate this area, which gets me two purple gems. The one, two. And then because I move the blue die and I've got my blue workshop upgraded, I activate the red die, which gets me two bricks. Now we are cooking with gas, as the phrase goes. And we roll these dice. And I'm going to keep looking at the chat to see if I'm making a mistake. Nice. Done. Yeah, that's my go done. Right, so now we do Ivan's turn. So Ivan moves the yellow dice. It moves six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't get... Oh, no, he gets a recognition uh, for that. Rerolls the yellow dice. It's a three. Uh, and then he does this action, right, which is... Uh, transport. So you place all of the building materials from the inventory, which is here, on top of the construction card, which is here. Okay, so this this is kind of the process. This is his inventory, and that card moves them from there to here. Now these cards, remember, these were laid out randomly at the start of the game, but it turns out that they've actually been laid out in the logical order of collecting resources moving them to the construction site, uh, and then construction. Okay, but the, these, these would have been, you know, next time I play, these, these would have been shuffled and placed uh, in any old order. But that, that's what that one does. Uh, there we go. My go. I'm going to be delivering. So when you deliver, you can deliver three bits, uh, and I'm going to deliver two bricks and a wood. Uh, and we're going to deliver to here. What you do, because this isn't going to be completed, it's actually, uh, you actually store the resources up on the space, and I'm going to cover over the bits that are done. All I need to do is deliver a purple gem to there, uh, and then that is done. And when you deliver to an area, uh, you can also construct a decoration, uh, either on your completed area or somebody else's. So that's kind of what I'm saving up for. Um, yeah, if I can now get a green gem, which I might be able to do, because I've now got the money. Yes, right, I've got a plan for next turn. So meanwhile, Ivan. Blue dice moves four. One, two, three, four. He doesn't get any bonus. Reroll these two. Snake eyes. And then this action. So construction. Place all of the materials on top of this card on the cathedral sections under construction by Ivan. He does not need to match the specific resources. The only thing he must respect is the number of materials required. For example, if a section requires two lumber, one brick and one gold, for Ivan, it requires any four materials. So does he do more? Place all of the materials on top of this card. So he's doing four at a time rather than three. It's a bit cheaty, isn't it? Um, to, to determine which card will receive materials, look from left to right, bottom to top. Left to right, bottom, for top, bottom to top, okay. The first card claimed by Ivan that you will find that you find will be where the materials are placed. If Ivan has more materials than are needed, the extras are placed on the next card. So basically, we look at this card here. It requires four materials. It doesn't matter what four materials are. It delivers four materials. That is that done. And he gets the eight recognition points. I don't think he gets the money. So eight recognition goes from eight to 16. And that gets flipped over. That is completed. Now remember what I was saying, anybody can build the decoration in there as part of the delivery action. And this is the bit that's shown on the player board here. So whenever you're doing the delivery action, you can deliver um, either wood, stone or gold to build the relevant bit. So this, uh, this bit here is a door. And you can deliver jewels to get extra points. Uh, now you need to get prestige out of his section. Which the first card. Yeah, I think we think we're done. I think that's right. I think that is right. Okay. 
So, um, and that gets flipped over. And then we're going to do something at the start of Ivan's next turn because all of his markers are flipped face down. So, my go. Uh, I haven't got lumber, so I can't actually build the door. So I think I'm going to get some resources. Oh no, I'm going to claim. Yeah, I think I'm going to claim something. And if I claim something that needs... Because this is going to get me the gem. Yeah, this is going to get me the gem. So, I am going to claim... With my banner... Oh, this is... There's a lot of thinking ahead in this. And these... These cards here are really interesting. The game would work fine without these cards. But these cards really mix it up. Um, I need to be able to claim something that I can actually build. And that one's really quick and simple. But I'm going to take this one. Okay, so I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to claim that one. Uh, I'm going to take this tile, this workshop tile. Um, and where am I going to put it? It depends what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put it on the yellow one. So I'm going to pay two money to put to upgrade my workshop like that. And because I paid for it, I immediately get that. I get the bonus that's printed on it. Right, that is my go done. I claimed, I placed the banner, I got the bonus. We're all good. Right, so on Ivan's turn. If at the start of Ivan's turn, all of these cards have their tokens face down, uh, then you carry out some additional steps. Ivan builds an ornament, okay? So unfortunately, he's got in there before me. Uh, he will choose door, arch, arch, and cross. Once the door is in place, then the next to be placed is one of the arches and so on. Where to place it? Uh, he will try to decorate a card constructed by the player. That's me. If there are more than one, you choose which one. Uh, if that is not possible, he chooses one of the cards built by him. So it's not that, it's the door. Um... If there is more than one, you choose which one. If this is not possible, ignore this step, even if there are other ornaments that could be placed. If Ivan has an ornamentation, so if Ivan has placed an ornamentation, he gets one prestige, he doesn't have to pay any materials. So basically, we take this, and he puts it in here, and he gets a prestige. Oh, it's a prestige, not a... Yeah, it's a prestige, not a recognition. Right. Then take all of his workshop tiles, mix them up, and place them one by one on the cards. So there we go. Let's do a bit of shuffling. Uh, door placed on Ivan's piece. Yes, got that right. Excellent. Sorted. All is here as well, whilst at work. Sort of. <laughs> so these are going to get placed face up on here. And that was done before the turn. So Ivan is still going to take his turn. So we're doing this one. So we have, we're going to move the green dice, which is moving two. Uh, it gets a recognition. We re-roll it. Gets another two. Uh, where was it? It was here, wasn't it? Uh, and then this action here is for recognition. One, two, three, four. Now, you zoom in ahead a little bit on the old points track. I'm kind of still stuck down here. Not really done anything yet, but that's okay. I need to get myself some lumber. Oh, we need to flip that face down. Uh, I need to get myself some lumber. No, why, do I, why did I want lumber? Because I wanted to build this door. Uh, but you can't do that. You can't decorate it on the same turn as you create it, can you? So actually, I've got the gem. And I've got plenty of time before Ivan's decorating again. So this is my opportunity to sneak in. I need some bricks. I could get six bricks if I go there. That's insane. I've only got space for three. Oh. Do I really need all of those bricks? Hmm. No, I don't. That is way too many bricks. I could go here. This, this, this is pay money to make deliveries. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use this card. This is a card I've not used before. So I'm going to choose the yellow dice. I'm going to move it three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to re-roll it. It's a three. And then I get to do that, that, and because I've upgraded my workshop, I get to do that as well. 
So I take an emerald, I get two lumber, and I'm going to pay three money Yeah, three money to do two deliveries. Oh, you can decorate on the same turn you construct as long as you can deliver the goods. Okay, in which case, I'm still going to... Ah. Right, so if I understand this correctly, when you decorate, does the gems come as part of the three resources that you have to build? You must deliver the materials required for the ornamentation, which are, and, and then the jewels, which are set into the ornamentation. Yeah, each section of the cathedral, once finished, has space to place a single ornamentation. Each material used for an ornamentation counts as one material delivered. Yes, and you can only deliver three. So if you are, if you are building a door with a lumber, uh, an emerald, and an amethyst, that is your three deliveries. Right, okay, there you go. So, I've paid me three money, I'm doing two deliveries, and I'm gonna, I am gonna deliver the, the amethyst to there, and I'm gonna deliver a stone to here. Okay, so there's my two deliveries. This is now finished. So that gets flipped over. I get three money, and I get seven recognition. Yay! Finally, I've actually got some recognition for all of my hard work. There we go. That is that done. Um, and now I've got, and now I can put a decoration on next time. Yes. That's my plan. Yeah, you shouldn't build a door with any, yeah. Okay, I think we're good. I think we are good to go. Right. Ivan's turn. Ivan is moving the white dice. Three, one, two, three. Rerolls all of these. Doesn't get any recognition, but does get four resources. I'm just going to use brick. There you go. Four bricks. That is Ivan's turn done. My turn, I'm delivering again. And I am delivering a wood, an amethyst, and an emerald. Okay, so I'm doing, I'm doing a decoration. The door with the wood. Uh, and because I've used the amethyst, I basically get three prestige for that. So I go one, two... Three. There you go. For those people who don't know the game, the track here tracks two different things. You have recognition, and every time you gain recognition, you move one space forward. So gain five recognition, you move five spaces forward. But also, there are these prestige icons, and prestige is basically your victory points. So in that case, I gained three prestige, which meant I moved from here. One, two, three. You move, you move on the prestige symbols. So this is your actual victory points at the end of the game. Okay, right. There is no race for a door. Yeah, I know. But I got I got in anyway, because he's already built a door. But I just wanted to get in there. Again, this is a learning game for me. I've not played it before solo. Uh, so that's possibly not the best tactical move, because you're right, there was no competition for the door. But anyway, I've done it. That's my go done. Ivan's go. Ivan is going to move the red dice one to here. And re-rolls to a one. Uh, gets no recognition, flips that down and places this. So this goes here. Yeah, it goes on a space above me. That gets removed from the game. Uh, and that is Ivan's go done. Right, my go. So we don't have much in the way of resources now. I could claim another section, but I should also be looking at what's happening on the board and what is it that I actually need to do. Because if I'm gonna claim this one, I need two brick and a gold, and I don't have any of them. And I can get six brick from here. I've only got space for five. But that's pretty awesome. It's the green dice. My green dice hasn't been upgraded. My blue one has. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's a recognition. Not that much, is it? Uh, three would be the yellow. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not thinking about the, the end game scoring as well. It's kind of a bit of an area control mechanism here. I'll explain it at the end, but basically you, you're trying to, each tower 
is worth a certain number of points depending on how many completed sections are in it and each banner and ornament you have counts towards uh, the area majority for that so at the moment i have two versus one in this area this is going to be the biggest tower so this is going to be worth the most points so that's probably where i should have built the door to be honest <laughs> What am I going to do? Am I, am I going to go there and get six brick? Five. Hmm. Or do we claim again? Do we claim something else? Oh, I think I might have to. Yeah, I think let's claim. I'm going to claim, and I'm going to claim this one. So I'm going to take this, and I am going to pay. I'm going to pay the money. I'm going to pay two money to upgrade my green section of the workshop and I get the bonus according to where the white dice currently is which is two brick. Okay. I've done that. I've claimed it. I've done that. I've done that. That's it. That's my go done. Right. Next. Ivan. Ivan moves the yellow dice. One, two, three. Gets a recognition. Rerolls this. It's a four. Uh, and then moves all of the resources onto the construction card. Okay, right. My go. Um, right, so if I move that to there, that's an insane amount of stuff that I get. Or I could just deliver. I could, deli I could deliver. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm going to deliver. So I'm going to deliver a brick there, another brick there, and a stone up there. Okay. You will not touch the green die. Probably want to claim the top card do before he does, otherwise he can control the column. Yes. Very good point. Possibly should have done that. Never mind. We'll be all right. That's my go done. I... Constructed, spent three resources. We're all good. Right, Ivan's go, moves the blue dice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Rerolls both of these, gets a recognition. Uh, and then these four get used on here. So that only needs three. If we look at this, this only needs three. So that's complete, which means the other one goes there. So that is complete, and he gets seven recognition. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and that's it. Yeah, so at the start of his go, he's going to place an ornament. My go. Now, we've got loads of space in our inventory now. So that, that's fine. We can, we can go claiming. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We can go claiming this one, and then that's pretty much sewn up that. Because if I don't, he's going to claim it here. I've got I've got time to claim it, so I might. I'm going to move the green dice. Uh, ooh, yeah, I'm going to move the green dice. The green dice is moving two. Uh, right, now, which order do I want to do this in? I'm first going to get the resources for the area. So that's two dice multiplied by two brick, so that's four brick. I'm then going to use this, and I'm going to convert two of those brick into a gold. And then, because I've upgraded my workshop, I'm going to use the white dice ability, which is this, and take two more brick. Okay, did I roll these dice? Did I roll these dice? I can't remember if I did. I don't think I did because the green because I moved the green too. Yeah, if I rolled them, let me know, but I don't think I did roll them. Yeah, if I did, I'll set them back. Right, I think that's my go. I did that. I got the resources. I used this card and I used my workshop upgrade. Right, it is now Ivan's go. So let's just check this again. I did not roll. Okay, right, thank you. So 
Ivan is going to build an ornament. The order to place them is door, arch, arch, cross. Right, so I should have just put them in that order. That would have been easier. Um, Ivan will try to decorate a card currently constructed by the player. There isn't one of those. Well, there is, but it's already been decorated. Um, if that is not possible, he will choose one of the cards built by him, which is that one. Um, if that is not possible, ignore this step, even if there are other ornamentations that can be placed. So does that mean he doesn't build? Because he wants to build an arch next, and an arch can't be built on here. So I think he skips. He skips it. Is that right? It seems clear from the reading. He puts up a cross. Does he? The order in which to place them is door, arch, arch, cross. Once the door is in place, the next to be placed is one of the arches. And it says, if this, if, if this is not possible, ignore this step, even if there are other ornamentations that can be placed. Yeah, skip. I thought so. Thank you, Kenny. Well, Andy is saying he builds the cross. Okay, so Mark and Andy are both saying he builds the cross. Well, Adam is saying I can't do the cross. Yeah. That's one reason why I like doing these playthroughs, is uh, it highlights... I mean, I would get these rules wrong if, if you weren't helping me in the chat, but it also helps the people in the chat who've been playing it wrong. Yeah, it's in the book. It skips. Thought so. Right. That goes on there. That goes on there. It's the sentence, even if there are other ornamentations that can be placed. So he wants to place an arch next. He can't place an arch. So it skips, even if there's other ones to place. So, yeah, seems clear. Yeah. Right, okay, so then it moves the green dice. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it moves to there. Does it get three? I think it gets three recognition. Wow. And then rolls all of these and then gets another four recognition. <laughs> it's zooming ahead. Right. Done. My go. Okay. So, we've got the gold. We can deliver the gold. We've got the bricks. We can deliver the bricks. I could do another build action. I have the materials. So, yeah, I think I'll do it. So, I'm going to deliver. I'm going to deliver two brick and a gold. The gold is going to go there, and the two bricks are going to go up there. This is now finished. I get four money and I get eight recognition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is a completed. -a 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 -a. There you go. Right, done. Ivan's go moves the white dice, moves one, uh, doesn't get any recognition, re rolls these, and then gets four resources. What should we give him this time? Let's give him lumber this time. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, my go. I think we're going to claim. I'm going to claim before he does. So we are going to claim this one. Uh, and I'm going to get this. And I am going to upgrade the red section, which costs two. So I just gave in three and I get one back. And then I, because I placed it face up, I get to activate the blue dice, which is one recognition. Ah. Not very good, is it? Okay. Yeah, I think we're done. Um, if I had completed the one above, Ivan would have lost the recognition. Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah, I should have completed that one. But I was worried he was going to complete this one and I was going to lose something. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I think we're done. Was that my go? Yeah, that was my go. I claimed. Now it's Ivan's go. We move the red dice to here. Uh, and then Ivan claims. We can't claim one above me, so he claims this one. Okay, there you go. I think that's right. And then we flip that over. My go. 
Need some gold. Uh, need some more gold. And more gold. Now, I can build the cross, right? I'm not restricted. But I don't need to build the cross. At the moment, I've got control of this tower. But this tower isn't actually worth very much because it's not tall. So... Can we get the gold? Now, I've upgraded pretty much everything except white. So, and I must remember, you can pay to move these things further. I could totally move the yellow dice and go more. This is a brilliant puzzle, this. This is just really clever. Um, I could pay and do deliveries here. But then I don't have the gold. Hmm. No, I think I think I want to go here. Don't need the money. Uh, that would be quite nice. Don't need the stone. These dice aren't kind. No, there's no there's no combos with these dice. So, hmm. Yeah, on, you can only pay for blue or white. Yes. Yeah, I was just thinking that in my head. Thank you for uh, confirming that. You can only pay to move the white die or your own dice, not the other ones. So, where's six? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd get two emeralds and I could pay it to do, to do a delivery. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. I might claim again. Yeah, I might claim another tower. Let's do it. Let's claim this tower. I'm going to pay two money to put that here. Um which means I get to activate where the green dice is, which is one recognition. Okay. And then on my turn, I'm going to do this loser prestige to gain two coins because losing a prestige when you're here means just moving to there. You get two coins. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I wasn't sure then, and that might not be the right thing to do. People are suggesting in the chat I should have done lots of other things, but... That's what I've done. Right, next it is Ivan. Ivan is moving the blue dice. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So he rolls all of this there and then moves these resources onto there. Okay, that's Ivan's go done. My go, well, I think I'd be crazy if I didn't move the blue dice. It is three prestige though, and I get to do this. Yeah. Oh, that would be that would be all my all my resource needs fulfilled. It would, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Is that the right thing to do? Oh, I'm not sure. Why not white? One, two, three. Oh, and then pay to move one extra. I could, and the white operates the green. No, I kind of want another one of them. Now, I'm going to move the blue dice. So I move it two. Uh, I then get three recognition. Um, I, because I move the blue dice, I can activate my workshop upgrade, which is the red dice, which gets me an emerald. And then I'm going to use this one here, and I can basically spend as, many, as much money as I want. Just zoom in and show you this card here. I can spend as much money as I want to buy uh, lumber, brick, or stone. Or I can sell fancy stuff to gold. I'm going to choose the top option, and I'm going to spend loads of my money, and I'm going to buy some resources. So I'm definitely buying... What do we need? Uh, definitely buying a stone. Definitely buying another stone. Um, got lumber there. Don't need another door. I think I'm going to buy another stone. 
What's the betting? I'm going to get loads of stone in a minute. <laughs> uh, so one, two, three stone. Yeah, I think that might be enough. No, I'm going to buy another one. I'll buy four stone. There you go. It says, and a wood. I don't need the wood. Oh, no, I do, I, I do need the wood for the top, but I don't need another wood. Because I've already built the door decoration. Um, oh, Andy's saying that Amelia played it with you. That's good. Cool. It is a very good game. It is an extremely good game. Uh, and I have only played it the once. But assuming I play this a few more times this year, spoilers, I can see this being one of my top 10 games of 2020. Uh, I will let you know in December when I create the video. But yeah, this is just really good. I think we're done. I need to re-roll these, don't I? Yeah. So I did that. I did that. And I did that. Okay, off we go. Pop, pop, pop. Ivan's go. Ivan is moving the yellow dice. One, two, three, four. Doesn't get any benefits. And then he constructs. So, bottom first. I believe it's bottom first. He does that one. That gets him six recognition and uses up three of those resources. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the extra one goes on there. So there's still one resource needed for that. Is that right? Ivan's turn. Construction. Look from left to right, bottom to top. Oh. Left to right, bottom to top. I think I got that wrong. I think it should have been that one that he finished. Left to right, bottom to top. Yeah, okay. So I think it's this one. Mark is saying he's right. Which though? <laughs> I think it should be that one. For example, if a section... Uh, yeah. Determine which card receives the materials will receive them. So look from left to right, bottom to top. Yeah, I, th I think it goes left to right first and then bottom to top. So it's actually that one. So it's not six, it's four. One goes on there and two goes on there. And now I'm going to look at the chat and the chat will tell me I'm wrong. He finishes bottom, then moves up, says Chrissy. Well, yeah, it's kind of, that's kind of not what it says here. I mean, I believe you. It says, look from left to right, bottom to top. In that order. So what do the rest of the people in the chat think? Uh, Brett is checking the rules. Well, there you go. So the rules say to determine... Oh, yeah, I mean, it might be in, on BGG, but it says to determine... I don't know if Llama Dice is still in the chat. That would be great if you are. To determine which card will receive the materials, look from left to right, comma, bottom to top. So, yeah, column three first, says Adam. So that's what we've done. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. It's my go. Right. Am I going to build... I think I am because I'm running out of space in my inventory and I've only got two money. So I am going to, I am going to deliver. I'm going to put two stone on there and I'm going to put one lumber on there. Okay, and that's my go done. Left to right takes precedence. Yes, thought so. Right, Ivan's go. Ivan can now build this. So he does. He puts it there and he gets a prestige. Is it as simple as that? He just puts that there and gets a prestige. I think it was. And then these get shuffled. And then he takes his go. Moves the red dice too. He rolls all of these. Gets a recognition. And gets four more recognition. One, two, four. And that gets flipped down. There you go. 
Okay. So, my go. What's the plan, Jack? We need amethysts and we need gold. And I need to be finishing this section. We definitely need gold. Gold is a thing that we need. And we can get lots of it by moving the green dice. So let's do that. We're going to move the green dice. Three, four. I get three gold. Nom, 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 nom. Don't eat gold. Um, I can do this if I want to. But because I move the green dice, I activate the white dice, which is another gold. Only just about got space for that. Uh, and then I am going to use the two gold. I'm going to convert two gold into an amethyst. There you go. So I did that, I did that, and I did that. We're done. Ivan's go. Moves the blue dice. One, two. Re oh, do I need to re-roll this? I need to re-roll this, don't I? Uh, but I'm also re-rolling that. It needs to be re-rolled. All the fours. 144. As the bingo phrase goes. Uh, and then he gets four resources. We're going to give him gold this time. Two, three, four. Right. All right, is Ivan done? My go. I think I'm going to build something. And then I'll stick some decorations on it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to deliver goods. I'm going to deliver a gold to here. And a gold to here. And then amethyst to here. Okay, that completes these two. So you're not seeing the rule about completed sections above incomplete, se incomplete sections. That's fine. I get three money and I get 14 um, what's it stuff? Recognition. So 14 recognition. So from 31 45. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that on there because you can't quite see it. Done. I constructed, delivered three things. That is my go done. Ivan is moving the white dice. One, two, three, four. Gaining a recognition and re-rolling. And then claiming. So it claims this one. That's it. My go. I've lost the amethyst. I would like another amethyst just to get the maximum. Now, for those who don't know, um, there is an official ruling of this game in that when you build an ornament, you can deliver zero, one, or two gems. If you deliver two different gems, you get three prestige, but you can deliver two of the same gem or two prestige. That's been officially ruled. Remove workshop tile from last claim by Ivan. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're right, there you go. So if I wanted to, I could build a decoration. I could put two emeralds in it and I'd get two prestige. Uh, but the optimum use is a, an emerald and an amethyst and that gets you three. Uh, but can I get one, two, three, four, I can. But I'm probably best. Yeah, I'm probably best waiting. I might. Yeah. I'm just greedy about the points here. Hmm. Okay. Get the recognition from the workshop. Which one? Where? Hmm. I'm looking to get an amethyst, but I don't think I'm going to get one anytime soon. So, I'm going to move the yellow dice. Okay, I'm going to move the yellow dice. It's going to move four. One, two, three, four. That gets me three recognition for that. One, two, three. And because I've upgraded my workshop, I get the, the emerald. And then... Uh, 
and then I am going to sell one of those emeralds for two coins. Yeah. What I'm going to do? Blue plus one. Yeah. I, I might do that next time. We'll see, we'll see where things end up. I'm re-rolling all of these. Okay. Now it's Ivan. Ivan is moving the yellow dice. One, two, three, four. Re-rolling both of these. Doesn't get any recognition. Moves the four gold onto the construction card and is done. Right, my go. So we still saying if if I claim the middle card on the first column, he can't do any more decorations at all. He, he can. Yeah, he can. He can upgrade. You can upgrade other people's. Yeah. The the so I yeah anybody can upgrade anybody else's. So at the moment he's going to decorate that one. And I kind of don't want him to decorate that one. I want to decorate that one. So I need to do it before he does it. Which means I need to get the purple amethyst now. Now we can do that in a couple of different ways. Because I could move the white dice to here and get loads and loads of gold. Yeah, and then I need to decorate that. And to, be, to get the most out of it, I need an amethyst. And I can get an amethyst by trading here. I think this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to use the white die, one, two, three, and I'm going to pay to move it further to there. I'm going to activate this area first, which gets me three gold. I'm then going to activate this card that converts two gold into an amethyst. And I'm then going to, because I've upgraded my white die, I'm going to activate the green die, which gets me a gold. There you go. Right. Done. And I'll re-roll these. Okay, three, three, one. Uh, Ivan moves the green die to there. And then builds. So, where is he building? It's building here first, and then there. Okay, so... Uh, this gets built. We are now going to see this rule in effect. So Ivan gets six recognition for that piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this gets finished, gets him seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And because I have an incomplete section, and there's a one that's been built above it, I get chastised by the Tsar, and I lose... Uh, recognition points equal to the number of finished sections above their cards, I lose one. That's not bad, is it? I just lose one recognition. Okay. I think we're done. And then, on my go, I use the stone, the emerald, and the amethyst to deliver this to here and get three prestige. One. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to lose a prestige to get two coins. And then I gain three prestige. One, two, three. Okay, nice. So I, I, that, I've got that column now. And that is worth eight points. Nine, ten points. So that's, that's mine. That's end game points coming to me. Ivan's go. Ivan will place this, but there's nowhere to place this. So he doesn't place one. Lols. Game's coming to an end now. Um, because as soon as either player has placed their sixth uh, banner, uh, the other player gets one more turn and then that's it. So, yeah, we, we are definitely getting close to the end. Um, I've got this tower, unless he places a cross, which I don't think he's going to do. I'm planning on placing a cross here, and that should get me that column. Yeah, decorate quick. Uh, claim column one and decorate quick. No, because if I claim column one, that triggers the end of the game. I can't claim. Yeah? Oh, completed their sixth section. Okay, thank you. Right, not claimed it, completed it. Yes. I could claim column one, but... Ah, I mean, I do have the brick and the stone. This is why I've got the brick and the stone. I think... Yeah. 
Are we going to try and rush the ending before he can build another decoration? Is that what we're thinking? I think it is. So I'm, I'm going to need an amethyst. I could get an amethyst just by taking this. Hmm. This is tricky. I'm just, I'm just taking a moment to think. The microphone hasn't gone dead. I'm just having a look at the board. And I'm just thinking... how I can best do this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can't claim this. No, I can't claim this. You can only claim ones that are above one that's already been claimed. So I can't claim that. So forget that idea. Um, did we have a plan B? No. Right, we didn't have a plan B. Uh, did we have a plan C? Nope. Okay. I'm going to move the blue dice. I'm going to pay an extra one. So one two, three, four, and I'm going to pay one to move it five. I'm then going to activate that area and get an amethyst. Because I've upgraded the blue die, I can activate the red die, which is a, um, a, a recognition point. And then I can do this. Now, do I need anything else? I don't think I do. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. Do I want to sell anything for money? Actually, I might. I might sell the gold. Decorate with one gem. Yeah, I, I, I could decorate with one gem. I could decorate the cross, but I'm not in any rush to decorate with the cross. Yeah, I am going to sell a gold. I'm going to sell a gold for two coins. No. No, I'm going to keep the gold. I don't need the money. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to use that ability. Right, that's my go done. Uh, why are all these face up? Have I, have I done something wrong here? Because these should not all be face up, except at the very start of the game. I think that one should be face down. Yeah, I think that's what he did on his last turn. Somebody somebody let me know. I think that's what he did on the last turn. I think I just forgot to flip the tile down. I'll wait for the chat to tell me. But yeah, what what did Ivan do on his last turn? Is my question. So, I I will carry on playing as if he did that on the last turn and he's doing this on this turn. Uh I th did I give him the four points? I think I did give him the four points. Yeah. Let's, let's go back and uh, have, a, have a quick watch of the video. <laughs> That's me flipping it face down. Oh, this is me thinking. I'm still thinking. Wow, that was ages ago. Okay, so this is me shuffling the tiles. I put the tiles out. I pointed at some things. I pointed at something else. Then I pointed at something else. I I don't even know if I took their turn. I think I might have even skipped Ivan's turn. Yeah, I think I made a mistake there. Going to the replay. I'm just watching the replay back. Let's see what the chat says. I didn't move the red die and I didn't give him the points. Yeah. So I, I actually skipped Ivan's turn. I did the whole resetting and then, and then forgot to take his turn. So the red die should have moved. This might have changed things, but nothing I can do now. Uh, where was it? Was it there? There. One, two, three. Right, it was there. Okay. And he got four recognition. One, two, three, four. Right, that was his last turn. So this turn, we're moving the blue die. One, two, three, four. Doesn't get any recognition. Gets four resources. 
Okay, we're good. My go. It's because I was putting so much brain power into thinking about me. Um, that I forgot other people. Right, he's going to claim next, and he's going to claim that one, which means I can then claim that one, which means I'll get the amethyst. That that's what I'm thinking. Um, I could build the cross now. I I can totally build the cross now, if I want to. Um, and I think I do. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's lose the cross now. Kyle's here. Hi, Kyle. Thank you for joining in. Uh, I used the blue die, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. It just it might have changed what I did there. Um, yeah, we'll 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 build the cross. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lose a prestige to get two coins, taking advantage of the situation, and then I'm going to deliver. Uh, in fact, what's gone off here? I've lost the red banner. Where's, where's the red banner that was... On, oh, there it is. I should be there. Uh, so I'm going to use a gold, an amethyst, and an emerald to build a cross on his tower. That gets me three prestige, which is one, two, three. Okay, so at this point in the game, recognition is actually really good now. Earlier on, recognition didn't get you much, but later on, it's really, really useful. Okay, that's me done. I delivered, um, and I did that. The cross is on. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Ivan's go. Move the yellow dice. One, two, three. Roll it. One, and then claim that. My go. Now, that's changed things because there is a nice duty to amethysts. Do I want to move the red? The red would get me two bricks. Don't need two bricks. Could move the green. Could move the white. The white would get me. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. I need I need to just be careful. Oh, I need to uh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I need to be very careful. Um because Ivan's going to next Ivan's next turn is going to move those resources to there. And then Ivan's turn after that is going to be to construct that and that's going to trigger the end of the game. So I have my turn now. Then it's Ivan. Then I have another turn. Then it's Ivan. Then I have another turn. I've got three turns left in the whole game. Uh, and what are we going to do with those three turns? If I... I could deliver to there, and with a stone, and with a gem, decorate it, and win that tower. Yeah, I could, I could totally do that. So... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Deliver twice. I, I could just deliver once. Delivering once would be fine. Right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to move the green die. I'm going I'm to use the green die to, uh, to move to here. I get two amethysts for that. I get to activate the white die, which is a gold. And I can use this. Now, I don't know what's worth stuff at the end of the game. Are resources worth anything at the end of the game? If it's just money, I probably need to sell now. One for every five materials and rubles that they return to the reserve. Okay, so if I don't need this gold... I'm actually going to sell both of these gold for four coins. Okay. Reroll. Thank you. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Always forgetting to reroll. Please do an online implementation app version, a multiplayer async of this game. <laughs> right. That's me done. I moved. I got that stuff. We're okay. Ivan moves the white die. One, two, three. 
doesn't get any recognition. That goes there, and these four go to there. And then my go, I No, if I'm going to build on the last tower, I don't need to build twice. I only need to build once. I'm just, I'm just not going to get the points for this tower. But that's fine. I'm, I'm going to try and get an emerald. Not an emerald. One, two, three. Four. Oh, you can't move it. Fewer spaces. I mean, if I, move the, if I move the yellow dice, I get an emerald. That's what I'm thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six is a bazillion wood, which is fourth of support. Oh, I can deliver. It totally works. Yes, it absolutely works. Right, I'm going to move the yellow die. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get an emerald. I get four wood. And I'm going to pay one to do a delivery. And the delivery is going to be an amethyst to here, which gets me two money and four recognition. Two money, four recognition. One, two, three, four. Okay. Did that, did that, did that, didn't re roll the dice. Finally, Ivan's turn. One, two, three, four. Roll the dice, and then he delivers the bricks to here and gets three recognition. One, two, three. Right. Game has been, end game has been triggered. My last go is to decorate. I use the stone, the amethyst, the emerald, and we put this on here. Because at the moment he's got two. And I've got two by putting that on there. I've got three and I, I get the majority. And I get three prestige. One, two, three. Okay, and that's it. That is the end of the game. Done. So, at the end of the game, both players move their prestige markers back to the latest prestige symbol. And then we do the end of game scoring. So, uh, one prestige for every five materials and rubles that they return to the general reserve at the end of the game. So I've got one, two, three, four. That's four prestige with all of my gubbins. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then we do the values of the tower. So this tower is worth two prestige plus one for each ornamentation. So it's worth five. Uh, Ivan's got five. Ivan's got the majority there, so Ivan gets five. Okay. The next tower is worth one, two, three, four, five. I have majority, so I get five points. Now, in a two-player game, it's slightly different. This scoring. Um, where is it? Where is it? Read it somewhere. The player with the highest total gets the full value. The player with the second highest gets half value. The next player half and so on. Uh, but in the two player game, special two player rules. The player with the greater presence gets all of the points. And the other player, if they are present, gets one third always rendered down instead of half. Okay, so I get... Um, Did I, I've not done the five points yet for this. I don't think I've done the five points. Tell me if I'm cheating. I don't think I've done the five points yet for this tower. But Ivan gets a third of five rounded down, which is one. Okay, is that right? Okay. Uh, no second place in a two-player game, says Brett. No, that's not true. Not true. Not true. Right, okay. This tower, the big one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's worth ten, and I get ten because I've got the most in there. So I go up to uh, forty-five. It looks a lot, but it's actually only five points more. Uh, and what was it? Ten divided by three and rounded down is three. One, two, three. 
And then the final tower, see that I'm only three points ahead. The final tower is worth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have three points in there, so I get eight. Uh, and Ivan gets a third of eight, rounded down, which is two. Boom, done. I win. 53 points to 44. And I think, I think we're all right. I think that is it. Done. What a great game this is. And the solo game is really good. My only criticism of the solo game is there isn't any difficulty settings. Unless I've missed them, it is, there's the solo game. And I've managed to beat it on my first play. Now I did, I was helped by the chat and it is good and I did enjoy it and I'd definitely do it again. But I'm a big fan of um, varying difficulty settings. And it would be quite easy to do because I can just say I won by nine points. Okay, so I've got a whatever victory because I won by nine points. And maybe the next step up is to win by 10 or more points, something like that. But yeah, there isn't, um, there isn't any difficulty levels given within the game. Now, to be fair, the rule book is pretty packed full. Um, there, you know, there's nowhere to put it in here. There's no, there's no way you can put it in. But I'm just curious as to the rest of you who have played it solo, once you have beaten it on solo, um, what would you do to increase the difficulty of the game? Is it just try and get a better victory. So I won by nine. Do you just try going for more than that next time? Replayability on this game, I think is very high. Um, the slightly different tower layouts, I don't think that makes that much difference to the game. But obviously in this game, we had a big four tower here, uh, which is worth, that could be worth a lot of points. These special abilities here on the board, these are different in the games. The, these are randomly laid out and the dice are random to start with. And, these are randomly laid out as well. So if we were to do this again, oh, there's an advanced player board, yes. Okay. So if we'd have done this and laid them out like that, that would have been actually be quite a different game. So it claims first, this one does nothing. This one here as the second card means it moves all of its resources from here to here. But at this point in the game, there aren't any on here. So this is a really bad setup for it because it does nothing here. It gets the resources here. Here it can't build because it doesn't have any resources on here. Then it gets them here. Oh, but then here it gets another four. Right, okay. So yeah, I think, I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, so there's an advanced player board as well. So what you've seen is you've seen the basic player board and there's an advanced one on the other side. Now I've not read the rules for this, but I am... I'm definitely keen to play this game more and I'm keen to play with the advanced side because this is, this looks quite a bit different. Uh, it looks like uh, these slots have got the decorations on them. But anyway, we are done. Thank you very much to everybody for watching. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and also this video will be going live on Board Game Geek at some point. Uh, in the next week. When you see it on Board Game Geek, please give it a thumbs up on there as well. Um, yeah, thank you to everybody for joining me. Thank you for the, for the help uh, with some of the rules. And yeah, final thing before I go. Uh, this video is part of my do lots of live streams this month. So uh, this, this month I am doing about 10 to 12 live streams a week. None of them are sponsored. None of them are paid for in any way. They are purely supported. Uh, through the support of the um, Patreon campaign. So if you enjoy the content that I make and you want to support the channel, uh, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules uh, is where you need to go. Uh, members will get benefits, access to the Slack channel and various other bits of discussions. I'm just going to show you what my plans are for the rest of the week. We are currently on Wednesday, okay? So this is what I've been doing all week. If you want to see me playing Too Many Bones, that's on the channel right now. That was for Monday and I did another one on the Friday. Um, I'm playing through a computer game yesterday and tomorrow morning, Drake Hollow. Uh, I did a video yesterday and earlier today, Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth. Uh, if you're interested in that, those are on the channel. Red Cathedral is now. Tomorrow afternoon, I continue my Maracaibo campaign. Then Friday, Viscounts of the West Kingdom in the afternoon, followed by Keeper with David Turtsey uh, in the evening. Again, none of these videos are sponsored. They are only made possible through the support of the Patreon campaign. So. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for making this month possible. 
and I will be back next week with more of the same. Uh, there'll be lots more videos coming next week as well. Um, we are all done. So that's it. It's half nine. Really enjoyed this. Very, very good game. Really well put together. Production values are good. Gameplay's good. Really interesting mechanisms. Rulebook's really good as well. That's all I can say about it. It's, it's just a fantastic game. Um, yeah, thank you very much to Devere Games and Cosmos Games for the review copy of the game. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, and that's everything. I'm going to be playing some Gloomhaven Digital in about 15 minutes if you're interested in that, an impromptu stream, but I'll be going live in 15 minutes with another game or two of Gloomhaven Digital. Um, I'll see you for that if you're around. Otherwise, I will see you in the next stream. Cheers, everybody. Good night. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.